How's it going guys? It is me, the Dom Fanatic, and welcome to a very late week 7 of the Pokemon Premier League. Now, this video's uh, sort of introduction and team builder section is going to be different to prior weeks. I've already mentioned this video is late, so basically I just don't want to do this any further. Just wanted to clear some things up first because there have been some comments and questions asked. Um, I had a family bereavement hours before I was meant to play Ricky for week 6, which is why Padel very kindly offered to play that game for me and really saved me there. Um, if you didn't see, she uploaded the video on her side. I have added it to my PPL Season 3 playlist, so if you aren't subscribed to Padel and you haven't seen that battle and you want to, then please, please go and watch that video because she deserves all the all the credit for the team building and the, you know, the... The, uh, I, I can't think of what I'm saying now, but she deserves all the credit for that, um, and I really hope you guys can all go and support her. Um, but as I said, obviously there's a family bereavement, um, so I've been away this last weekend on like a mini holiday with all of the family um, on the side that has suffered the bereavement, and then yesterday, the day before recording this, was the funeral for the person. Um, so, as I'm hoping you can understand, I haven't really been in the headspace for doing YouTube and videos and doing like GFX for team builders and stuff. So that's why this battle is late. That's why I didn't play last week. Um, and that is why the sort of introduction to this video isn't the same as such. As we are late, I am just gonna, you know, leave it kind of at this. I will have shown you on the screen what my uh, team was for this battle. Um, I'm hoping you appreciate the heat. That is the Bulldoze Tinkerton and the Assault Vest uh, Mirror Coat Blastoise. I was particularly proud of that heat this week. So, um, yeah, I'll just leave you guys to have a second to look at the team I'm bringing. And you should have also seen the matchup on the screen as well. Um, and otherwise, I'll just let you get straight into the battle for Week 7. But actually, what I will quickly say is I hope that Week 8 should pretty much be back to normal. On Sunday uh, against Q, the Costa Ricans, that'll be a huge game as well. So thanks for watching, guys, and I hope you do enjoy the battle. Okay, everyone, we're here for the third jack-off of the season. We were obviously successful in the first jack-off in week one against Grady. It's now week seven, um, so obviously I wasn't here last week for family reasons, so thank you again, Adele, for doing that for me. Um... We're here against Jack, um, just Weavile, and I've forgotten what his team name is, but I know it's something to do with Weavile, and it's something to do with Wolverhampton Wanderers, um, so I apologise Jack, but yeah, we've gone through the team build a bit, we've gone through like the, the pre-game talk, let's message Jack to say, uh, now searching, good luck, have fun, probably shouldn't have wished him good luck, because when I did mocks, I did not get a lot of luck at all. Um, <laughs> Let's just search for the game. Um, this man's draft is terrifying. Like, he either... Like, Jax, um, he does a lot of Wi-Fi. So he knows the game. And he, it's his first game back in draft. I'm not sorry. His first season back in draft for a while. He does bring the air ring. Ah, oh, sugar. Okay. So I faced that in Mox against Elian. It was terrifying. Um, Palafin, Moth, Thunderous... Not Thunderous. Thunderous. Um, the Ursa uh, Ring, which probably means he has screens. So I'm really sad I didn't have Break Break or Court Change anymore. Noivern and Klefki. So I'm not feeling so confident now. Um, I really thought Scrafty might come as an answer for Latios. Because after, other than Klefki, like, he doesn't switch in to a Dragon Move. Uh, he doesn't switch into a psychic move, full stop. So I could just lead off with my cleft key, turn one, and just like click Master Purge. Otherwise, though, I have been kind of leading Tinkerton. And Tinkerton seems pretty free here because he has to fear the Thunder Wave. So I'm going to do that. Um, he could. I'm hoping he doesn't leave Palafin because obviously it means he doesn't get zero to hero so fast. Um, but Stealth Rocks are going to be nice here because he has got three things weak to rocks. If they're all boots, that's okay. Um, and getting rocks up to chip things down is going to be useful. So I also had Brick Break on my Gliscor once upon a time in uh, 
in practice and that hasn't worked out for me because that would have worked, it would have been really nice if I had that because I'm, I'm suspecting Clefki will get screams up and then um, so he goes Palafin, okay. So does he stay in and click the Time Ball Breaker? I wish it stopped Zero to Hero, that would be an incredibly hilarious interaction. I can get rocks up here. Um, he could flip turn, and actually that will give me insight as to whether this is banded or not. Ah, oh, sugar, I haven't imported my um, team. I think I click rocks. I'm going to let the... I'll click rocks. It's free rocks. Free rocks. Flip turns, okay. It's interesting that he did that, because if... If I'd led Latios, that was a terrible lead for him. He could have gone hard Clefki, I guess, but... Um, right, so if I go for the import here... Let's go for my own import sets. If he goes Moth here, that would be lovely. That would be insane. Because I am the Okaberry, I can click all those. And if he's not boost speed, I then outspeed it the next turn. So I can just like click knock or something. Not that I would really need to, but um, Volk could be a pretty free play here. He could also go into the Noivern. Mothra, okay. The tech, this is the tech. He dies. So actually he's not booster. So is he Scar? Quick ball goes. I am Ockerberry. He might over predict to predict me to switch out into Blastoise here and click like Energy Ball or something. Which would be nice. Um, but we are Ockerberry, so as long as I don't get crit, I'm pretty sure I'll live any hit here. Um, where is my Tinkerton? And that then frees up Blastoise. I wish I had Ice Beam on Blastoise now, but that frees up Blastoise to deal with the uh, Noi Man a bit. Come on. I just want this to work. It gives me Heat of the Week then. Um, surely he thinks I'm going to switch out here. Like, surely he does. Please discharge, yep. So he predicts the switch out into no power, which is nice. So does he give me Moth? Moth doesn't die. But if he's now Scarfed, I live. So do I just click Knock? I outspeed him if he's max speed. So I'm 2 3 4 speed. So if he's 3 50, <clears throat> that's 2 3 3. So do I just click knock and hope? I click knock. If he's scarfed, then he's scarfed into discharge and it it doesn't help. If he's boots. Oh, actually if he's if he's not boots, he dies. One entry. Did he bring hazard removal? Uh no. He does switch out. Okay, so he might be boots. I click the knock. And L, who are you? Numbers. Okay, you're not boots, that's nice. And um, I could knock, because there's no reason not to do that. That's so much. I am attack invested. Use expert belt. Right, this is a free Gliscor. This is what Gliscor is here for. Although Gliscor is also here for the Noiburn. But Tinkerton has done insane work. It's killed... It's killed Iron Moth. And it's put this under half. And it's not boots. So if he switches out... He didn't bring removal either. So... Fix Thunderbolt. Do you switch out? Do I click the slow U-turn? Like, this thing can't touch me. I did consider he could be Rain Dance with the ball, which would be insane tech. Um, but I wonder if he is going to sack the Moth here. That would seem like the smart play. So do I click U-turn? Because I don't think U-turn will kill. Could click Rock Slide. And he gets a free switch into Palafin then, but he taunts. That's fine. I'm going to kill this thing. He gets a free switch into the Palafin. That's fine. Don't miss. <sighs> okay, that's annoying because I could have had full health. Uh, full health? Gliscor. Which now will not happen. Um, I'm going to click Rock Slide again. He does withdraw. Does he go Palafin? Oh my, he does. Imagine if I put a boot turn. Are you boots? You're not. Kind of hoping he's banded. Because that will make this thing a lot easier to deal with. 
So I do land a lot of the time. That was nothing. Any leftovers? <laughs> Not leftovers, which is nice. I feared a leftovers sub. Right, this is my answer. Like, I go into this every time. There is no question about it. Um, he probably knows that, which is fine. Um, but I don't need to, like, the score is now just, like, incredibly good. Like, against everything that's left. Um, he does click Ice Punch. That does half. Don't, do not freeze me. Okay, good. So, I click the Terra Water and I click Giga Drain. Um, if he predicts this and goes for, like, his protective pads, which is what I expected because I'm effectable. So if he clicks like CC here, that's going to be okay. It's going to be okay. Um, I did exactly 50%. So if he clicks a fighting move here, then I might have just thrown it a bit. I think he flipped turns, right? The scout? Yeah, he flipped turns. So we're in a good position. Um, although saying that, I should have probably strength out. So he'll now go into the Moth and Sack it. So this means that Palafin is going to become that more terrifying. Although, it depends if it's Drain Punch. If it's got Drain Punch, it's going to be annoying. Right, so you're dead. That's another kill for Barbling, by the way. That's what. I don't know. It came, it came for Bedell, but I can't remember. I know it died, but I can't remember if it got a kill or not. Moth is 0-1, which is nice. Um, not too... I mean, the fact that we're getting chip on Palafin is great. So he's Boombox. So he could be terrifying, which is scary. Honestly, it's really scary. Do I go Tink? Do I go Gliscor? Gliscor still helps. Tink turn is not as useful now. So I think I'm gonna go Tink, because I resist I resist moves. My only issue is I don't have to speed this with anything. So this thing's gonna be a bit of a pain. Uh, so just terror. I resist both, but you know, like it's it's boom burst or hurricane here. Is one of the two. Uh, and he wasn't boots either. He's actually terror normal. My god. God, Miss Magus would have been nice for this. He clicked Boom Burst. I'm not the death. I am heavily HP invested, but I'm not the death. Jesus, are you sp your specs? Oh, that's a crit. That's a crit. That's annoying. Boom Burst again. Hmm. Okay, so Tink's dead. We have to. I could go into this and click the mirror coat. I forgot I had this. So this could be my saving grace. Because you might think that Palafin fears this, which it kind of does, but um, I am max for death AB, so if I land the mirror coat boom burst here. Boom burst. Okay, so I, I can't. I won't die and tank it. So we do what? 200 or something back. It's a death. The techs are both working this game. Holy shit. So Palafin is oh no, let me know that down. But Blastoise is 1 and 0 with the mirror. So that was my answer to um, what's its face? That was my way of dealing with the Iron Moth. But now those things are gone. That's insane. Heart filia. What are you? You are Plecky. Are you Balloon? You're not Balloon. Do I Earthquake? Your Iron Defense. Okay. I did nothing. Oh my god. This thing's going to be a pain. He's left over. No, he's weakness policy. Yo, that's insane. That's prep, that is. What? Okay, um, I'm fleet turning out. I haven't got anything to phase this out. Oh, 
I haven't got anything to phase this out, and I don't think I've got anything to knock it off either. Um, I have got Taunt. I think I just go into this and click Pyro Ball. Like, I think I just have to hope for a crit, because I think I just lose to this now. Like, this was not a set that we predicted in, in uh, Mox at all. So we click Pyro, do I get the crit? Nope. Burn. Store power. We did. Okay. Pyro Ball again. Like, like, this is Cinderace's, like, main thing. This is all it's here for. Um... Sake, that's not what I wanted, man. Oh, I'm so unlucky with these misses. Oh. That might just be the game. Um. Unless I go into this and click Miracle again. That's all I can do. Like, he's seen me click it. He clicks on defense again. Okay. I should have gone to Gliscor and then... Actually, I can do that. I can Gliscor and then Torn. Can you do it again? I'm just going to do it again. Test it out. He's calm mind. Oh my god. Okay. So actually, I think I can get out of this. So I'm out speed with the Gliscor, I hope. If I don't, then fuck me. Flip turn. Is he gonna be speedy? He's not gonna be speedy, Clefki. Nothing. <sighs> Bro, this is so bad. Um Yeah, we click Taunt. And then I... Nah, this game's just gone from 100 to 0 real quick for me. This is not good. I'm draining Kisses. I did nothing. Hello? You are only plus two, I guess. Um, maybe plus four, actually, aren't you? Click an earthquake. Like, I don't know what else I can do. I need to throw for a crit. You know, he's got a crit and I've missed two moves. Like, it would be really nice if he just didn't. Right, so he kills me. So he has to attack me. And I just have to hope that Storm Power isn't enough to kill me here. And I kill with Miracle. Otherwise it's game. I just can't do anything about it. Drain Kisses. Okay. Yeah, that's a smart play because now Storm Power will, will probably kill me. I would imagine from here. That's a lot of damage though. So he shook off the taunt. Mm. You're gonna calm mind again? Yeah, you calm mind again. Bro, I just need a crit. I just need a crit. Like, that's what I need. Um, let's click Earthquake and hope. He's gonna start calm minding on me and draining kiss me. Like I outspeed with Latios, but I don't have. I, I nearly ran Earthquake on it, and I have got Flip Turn. So the physical, I know he's plus six physical defense as well, so that won't do anything. Um, Miracle, I guess. Here, do I live? Probably not. Your plus four special attack, and it's God knows what base power, sword power. Yeah, that's game. I have to go for Lust of Purge and I have to crit. That's my only play here, really. Um, if it does, 
then actually Latios could just clean the game up. Um, Nano crit. I just got so unlucky on this thing. So unlucky. Like, the hacks was huge. Like, I said before the game that. Like, yeah. That's. There's not a lot you can do when your Cinderace is blind. Um. Oh, man, I wish I had kind of just got into this sooner. Like,. If this was at full HP, I could have come in and leech seeded, but um, yeah, that hax is that is so dumb. It's just so dumb. Like nothing wanted to land. Like I could have killed the Thunderous there and then. Could have killed the Clef Key, or pretty much put it near death at that point if I'd have hit two Pyro Balls. Like, what what can you do? Um, anyway, good game, Jack. Like, it's not his fault. So, um, thanks for watching. Hope you did enjoy the battle. I'm not sure who I have next week. Um, but I'll need to win the next two games now to make playoffs after such a good start. So, uh, thanks for watching, and I'll see you next time. Bye.